Plastic is useful for so many things, but the average person throws away 52 kilograms of plastic waste every year. And sadly, too much of this ends up in the ocean. Unlike your banana peel, plastic never goes away. In fact, every plastic object that has ended up in the ocean still exists. Instead, it breaks down into much smaller pieces, microplastics, less than five millimetres in size. But these tiny bits are a major problem for marine life and those who rely on it for food. That's why at the Galanders Lab at the University of Adelaide, we're working hard to better understand this growing problem from every angle. We're investigating how plastic becomes microplastic once it's in the ocean, how thousands of marine microbes colonise each piece, causing further breakdown, and even using the plastic as a vehicle to spread disease. Plastics contain harmful chemicals and inconveniently act like magnets for substances suspended in the water. These substances mimic human hormones, which is a big problem as they've been shown to decrease fertility and cause cancer. As microplastic finds its way in between the roots of mangrove forests and seagrass meadows, it harms young critters feeding in the cosy habitat, as well as those who feed on them. And with many of the most popular seafood organisms likely eating microplastic, if we don't do something now to change things, it could be more than just seafood on our dinner plates. Visible plastic in the ocean is bad enough, but for the health of the marine environment, its inhabitants and ourselves, we need to broaden our attention to the large-scale hidden consequences of microplastics. So visit our website to find out how the Galanders Lab is investigating where microplastics are coming from and the effects they are causing. Only by understanding this problem will we be able to find a solution. Galanderslab.org